Yeah, this was certainly not the opening debate performance that President uh, Biden wanted, especially the first 15, 20 minutes. Uh, historically, in these types of debates, incumbents struggle because they haven't debated in four years, they're busy running the country. But in this matchup, uh, the same, those same things applied uh, to Trump, where he started out fine. And so um, despite practicing, being secluded in Camp David for the next week, uh, President Biden came out stiff and may have been battling a cold and a lot of other external factors. But anyone who tuned into that very beginning would have some serious concerns uh, with his age and ability to lead the country forward. Yeah, I think the, the first 15, 20 minutes would be considered probably the worst performance of a candidate, certainly an incumbent uh, candidate ever. Um, just a really slow start and you know, so many people rooting for him, there's so much at stake and just to deliver that, given all the practice and everything that occurred, was very unfortunate. I think that um, Trump did a good job of trying to some of the highlights of his administration. And really, January 6th was going to be a big vulnerability, but uh, trying to turn that into a positive in some ways, kind of uh, reverse the issue of saying about how things were different then in terms of uh, inflation and um, the stock market and things, it's kind of pre-Joe uh, President Biden. And so I thought that was an interesting novel approach. Um, and you know, some of the, the strength that, uh, that he projected and the lack of international conflicts that existed when he was president. Um, now we've seen with Ukraine in the Middle East, just, you know, uh, maybe less chaos throughout the world, but maybe more internally. Um, so those were uh, those were strong, uh, both foreign policy and economy. For President Biden, um, I thought he expressed empathy on a lot of the questions and issues that they asked him about, uh, things like um, some of the, the economy, uh, joblessness, um, and also to the military, just making that personal connection to his son um, and what he's done for veterans. I thought that was one of the early turning points of the debate. After the stumble, 15, 20 minutes, once he actually went on the offense on things like that, the criminal issues, the, even the business failings, um, what's happened in the news lately, that put kind of Trump on the defensive, where Biden had been that way the entire time. But as you mentioned, it, it causes a back and forth. Then it just kind of spirals into, and that's then what kind of turns off voters, those that may not like either. And so I thought that it was kind of a break in the glass in case of emergency situation. He may not plan to go there before the debate, but once he saw how poor the start was, that was really the only option he had. 